Okay guys, we need to save money and we need to save it now. What's up Brooklyn and the rest of the world watching is Irene here and in this quick video I'm going to share with you how I plan to save money for the remaining of 2022. So last year I did a fall funding fiesta so to speak and I was able to save um, some extra money and add that to whatever it is I needed to save for for the end of the year and it worked out really well. I think that money went to my um, vacation in March of this year. So now we're doing it again. Um, this time we're going to have a little bit more money to play with since I earn more money, but I also have to pay off some credit cards um, that I didn't really have much credit card debt before. I have a couple thousand, not a big deal. I can easily pay that off, but I also want to add money to my emergency fund. So how are we going to do this? My plan for this fall is to pull back all of the money I've been spending. One of the biggest things I spend money on is food. I easily can spend $50 a day on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There is no reason for that though. I can cook, I can meal prep, I can buy actually much cheaper foods to eat during the day. But I don't, I have been lavishing myself for the past few months, especially since I got this new job. And I really, truly want to spend less. I need to spend less. I can't spend this amount of money every day. It is ridiculous. So the first thing I'm going to do as far as saving money is to spend less on food. I'm going to bring food for lunch for sure, because that's where I spend the most money. And at home, I'm going to have food for when I am home. There's no reason for me buying food when I am uh, home. If I'm home, there's no reason I can cook something, cook something up really quick. And that's it. The only time I'm going to spend money is if I'm buying so something uh, cheap for breakfast. Um, it's probably going to be under $10, just a coffee and a croissant, and that is it. So I'm going to try to reduce my spending from like $50 a day to like $10 a day max. That will help me save a lot of money every day. This is the thing that I loved about um, the pandemic. A lot of things came out of the pandemic when we had lockdown and everything. A lot of things came out of there that were actually really good. It showed us what we need and don't need in life, like don't need to go to the office every day, but that's another story. Another part is eating out all the time. You don't need to eat out when you are working during the day. It's easier when you are working from home, of course, but preparing food and cooking food to take to work every day can literally save you hundreds of dollars every month. So that is my goal for sure because what I want to do is I want to put at least $500 a month into my, uh, excuse me, at least $500 per paycheck into my emergency fund because I really need to boost that up. But I also want to put money towards my um, credit card bills. So if I'm doing that, if I'm pulling money away from eating out, that money can go to my debt and I can focus the other money going to savings. I, my bills are relatively low. They're about $1,500 a month and I bring home a lot more than that. So there is really no reason for me to um, have to spend so much. I really just buy crap and I'm going to stop doing that, especially during the fall. And the last thing I'm going to do for fall savings is I might get a part-time job um, just for like the holiday season. Um, you know how it is with the holidays. There's a lot of extra part-time jobs. I also have to see if I can earn overtime at my job. I'm not sure. Someone asked me that today actually. And I said no, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So there might be a way for me to earn some extra cash at my current job. So I might be able to do that. And if I can, I will. If I can't, I will do some part-time stuff just to earn a few extra dollars. I really want to bulk up my emergency fund. It is only at $1,500 and I really want to have it 
closer to 5,000 by the end of the year. If I can do that, that would be wonderful. I'd be very, very happy. I'm sorry. I'm looking over at these birds in these trees. There's a mockingbird and a blue jay kind of fighting it out. So <laughs> they have a little bit of my attention. They're right out my window. There's a big, two big trees and they're just fighting right now. Anyway, and there's things like that. Um, are you leaving, spending too much on your electricity bill, leaving the air conditioner, like the, the computers, everything on all day? Are you doing that? Um, can you reduce some of your expenses? Like I just cut off a couple of my Patreon. I was supporting some creators at $15 a month each. I just cut that out. And I think there's a couple other things I can cut out. Oh, I just canceled my Xbox. I think it was games, gameplay, whatever the monthly thing is. I just cut that out. I think that was $15 too, $14.99. So that's right there is $45 a month I'm just gonna be saving because I cut things out. So it's not a lot, but it all adds up and I really need to take control again. And I'm, if you're trying to get control of your money, the year has gone okay, but you know, summertime spending was a little too much. This is the challenge for you, our fall funding, whatever we're gonna call it, I don't know. But we have to save money this fall. Now I know it seems counterintuitive because the holidays are coming, you wanna buy Christmas trees and gifts for people. And that makes sense, but you can budget that and still save money, okay? I don't have to buy Christmas gifts for people really, just for my daughter and that's it. And she doesn't really want for much. So she's really easy peasy, she just wants money and I'll throw money in the envelope, call it a day. Otherwise, um, I don't have to spend so much money, so I'm lucky in that respect. But if you have people you have to budget for to um, purchase gifts, do that. And this way you can see how much money you can pile up, save for that purpose, and then save the rest for your own purposes, for, for your own savings. The emergency fund right now is really important. We are kind of we might be going into a recession. There's conflicting information about it, but we might be going into a recession and your money that you have saved up is gonna be really important because we, I've already seen lots of employers, lots of companies do massive layoffs. So you really wanna make sure you have that six month cushion because it's going to be dire and I am desperately trying to get there. So. That's what I'm planning on doing this fall, saving up as much as I can. Are you in a savings mode right now? I'd really love to know. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope it sparked you to do something with your savings. If you don't have that fund fully funded, your emergency fund fully funded yet, this is the time to do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you wanna see more things like these, more tips on savings, Hit the subscribe bell, subscribe button, subscribe bell. It's a subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And I will see you next time all on the rebound. Peace out. Ooh.